Okay, we're getting set up to spray today. And the first thing you do is calibrate your sprayer. Tom got a new sprayer, so uh, we made a course. His sprayer is 30 inch nozzles. And there's charts to do this method. It's the 128th method, which works pretty good. And so the post here is the starting point. And then down yonder I have a flag tied on a maple tree down there. It's 50 yards. So that's the correct distance for a 30 inch spacing. So we'll put some water in the tank now. And this took 25 going down and 27 coming up. So we're going to average and call it 26 seconds. Running at the, the speed that you want to run in your field. So now we'll put the, the uh, kettle underneath, the measuring cup underneath a nozzle. Spray it for 26 seconds and however many ounces are in the measuring cup, that's your gallons per acre. Don't ask me why, because, <laughs> you know, I was never a math whiz. So that's just the way it is. And um, it all depends on your nozzle spacing for some reason. Don't ask me why. I don't know. So the next step, put some water in, and then we'll get started on our calibration, and then we'll put the correct amount of herbicides in the, in the tank. A bit of moldy water in the bottom of the tank. I want to get that out first. Don't want that stuff going through your nozzles. Okay, so the next thing we got to do, I've got ounces on here, and we need to hold it under one of the nozzles. 26 seconds. So start the stopwatch and see what we get. The thing we're going to do is check another nozzle. Technically, you should do all of them and then average them. But we'll just do another one. Okay, the first one we came up with, yeah, that's about the same 13, 14 ounces. That's good, yeah. So that means. We're getting 13 gallons per acre out of that sprayer. All right, so we got 13 gallons an acre. It's a 40 gallon tank. Three would be 39. Would it? Yeah. Okay. Three acres would be 39 gallons. So three acres per tank. So we need to put enough chemical in there to apply to three acres yeah. in a full tank. And there you have it. If you get one of these nice uh, measuring jugs, it has all the calibration info on the side. It's got your nozzle spacings and how to go about it right on the side, so it makes it easy. Okay, now I happen to know that this field and the next field over, over there, is going to be three acres. So. If we have everything cal calibrated correctly, we should be able to spray all of that on a tank. So we'll see how that turns out and then we can adjust up or down, adjust our speed or our rate or whatever uh, to get it right. People like to say that hunting is cruel, but this deer is so old it wore its teeth down to nothing. It's down to the gums. Couldn't get enough forage and either starved or a combination of weakened by hunger and killed by coyotes. Not hunting is more cruel than hunting, but for the best possible outcome for a deer is to get shot through the chest and eaten. Okay, one final tip is that when you're done spraying, write down all the gory details of what you did how you mixed it, what you put in, stuff that went wrong, because something always goes wrong when Tom's with me, right, over there. And then the most important thing is to crack open a Chesterfield <laughs> and start drinking.